Hello everybody, welcome to another outtake uh, bloopers or supporting media video uh, talking about our recent finish of the first prototype or the, the prototype of the modules. So what we're going to be doing here is talk about lessons learned, what we can do better, what, can be, what happened, what did okay and what didn't do okay per se. And then we're going to use the rest of the time to plan out the next phase with the lessons learned. So let's get right in. No intro here. So our original design was based on this picture here, if you can see that. So what we had here is the two base supports and underneath the two supports. And if you see on the elevation, you've got the two supports hanging um, halfway through the board, the foam board. So you had to cut halfway through. So net positives, I'd say. Um, the the board area, foam boards, adhered really well in terms of keeping to the spec. So that's down to the the cutting of the boards and the, the fixing them together. Uh, so kudos to me <laughs> on that one. <laughs> um, the supports seem to have worked really well as well. So we've got the module sitting over to the right. Uh, you've seen a couple of pictures. In fact, I'll actually bring it picture up now to show you um but if we, you can probably see from that the supports are pretty stable um yeah you put a little force on it nothing seems to move which is fantastic um things that didn't go so well so this part here and connecting the the middle supports to the um the plywood on the edge on the edge no glue was used and the screws are a bit loose because there are smaller screws i didn't want to go too big and cause like a uh, a breakage in the in the bar in the support support beam um they they fat they sat snugly in and it's just there's this worry of maybe they're not that snug and the bar can come out in some way or shape or form so maybe next time ensure there's glue and in terms of cutting the beams and supports, it's good to, this is mainly for myself again, especially, um, it's good to cut off the other opposite ends. So it's a straight as opposed to a, a dodgy angle cut by the, the handsaw, because uh, the meter, miter, meter, medium router, tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes, um, that it makes a right angle cut if you do it properly. So much more reliable than doing a handsaw for it. And speaking of hand sawing, um, apparently if you use a knife on foam, on that kind of foam we were having, it yields better results than the uh, hand saw. But then the other thing about the foam as well, this support here going through the middle, that's probably unnecessary. What we could probably do instead for the for, for the actual module is move this down so it supports like the other supports here, these middle supports here. So then you have the full range of major supports. You don't have this um, compromised edge here of two and a half uh, centimeters. Sorry, I don't have the freedom units. If this is metric units, not freedom units. Uh, it did take us to the moon after all. Um, um, but yeah. And then the other thing is as well, these end supports right here, 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 marked as number one. They don't have to go all the way down. They can just go just to 10 that makes sense because that way what we were planning to do with the modules we can probably mess it up so with the support beams you've got you've got the modules themselves right and then you've got some actual benchwork support beams so those support beams um we were thinking of having them like holes cut in you know say for example there's a support point here so we'll cut a hole in they're not going to be more than five high right so they will sit on the, the beam, like so, if that makes any sense, if you can see that. Yeah, you can, that, that right there. So with this hole, they'll sit on the beams, and then that'll go across right here. But if you've got a beam right here, you have to move the module backwards or forwards into a right position. We don't want that. We want full control and autonomy. So removing this extra five centimeters here gives us that option. Um, it's, I know it's very close to the edge there, so we'll try and avoid that as best we can. But if it comes to it, we will have that option as opposed to just, I don't know, having a stupid little gap at the end. 
if that makes sense. Um, that's about it. Maybe leave another cent uh, millimeter for the, the plywoods on the ends so it actually fits snugly together. That could also just be because the um, some of the boards here, the supports weren't fully in, measured in as expected. But yeah, that's about it. Otherwise, it was a resounding success, I'd say. We can still use the prototype for stuff like decal, for um, for like a di uh, sorry, for a diorama. Um, we can even use it as filler if we wanted to. But yeah, moving forward, our goals are focused on post potentially. So we're just looking top down. Here's our main board. Same setup roughly as you saw from top down as the other, this one, right? But instead, we're going to have full size bone board here. Now, instead of having just the one in a short configuration like that, I'm going to have a go at having two long ones and then two shorts. So you've got the 50 centimeters here. And the 25 centimeters here so cutting one in half or using the discarded pile to fill this in and to achieve that you are probably going to need an extra support here so let's turn that into a diagram shall we bear with me so Turning that into a diagram, like so. so Twelve down. This, and then a section of like this. And voila! That makes sense. We're going to go into hyperlapse. Bear with us. So there we go. Middle supports, then a extended support in the old in the old style we used to do with like the um, the L shape. So it gives more surface area for the boards to sit on and gives them a bit more extra lumbar support, covering both the, the full size and the half size. If that makes sense. Well, there you go. And then so it the measurements here depends entirely on um, the foam sides, but we can do a couple so one 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 so one is going to be four uh, two by fives can be four point fives if you want um, that's fine uh, ten centimeters times by four and then two 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 because they're all going to be the same length anyway. So, two by fives. Now, theory is it will be 75 centimeters each. So, one, two, three, four. Times by four. And then three. 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 Two by fives. Again, just to be consistent. Take away two, 71. 71 centimeters times by two. All right. That's it. And then we got to do four, four, five. It's number five, which is going to be the problem. So we can even do number four. So that will be 70, uh, 75 plus this space here. So. That'll be the uh, sugar, 0 0.7 times by 15 equals uh, 75.7 centimeters times by two. 
the number fives are the unknowns because we don't have the measurements yet. Because um, as you've seen with some of the other foam boards, you've got some parts which have been cut off. So you want to level that out as best we can. So it may mean it's slightly shorter than the original spec of the the foam we've got here. This this stuff down here, and that's completely fine. We'll, we'll keep within those dimensions. We've measured we <laughs> measured the 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 optical length with tape measure. So it's not really optical; it's measured the length of the far end module, which does the the corner into like the um hmm. it's a thought sorry brain is on a is on a panic mode we may, we may not be able to do that sorry i have wasted everybody's time shoot no that's fine um yeah no no no, no. we will be able to do it for that section it's just across this section here, it only has one foam board, so we're going to call this design design uh, wall because design anti wall will be closer to the prototype. It'll be closer to this, but I'll just have the two boards, two foam boards, not the extra half. If that makes any sense. So, so, sorry, <laughs> panic. This is going to be the size against the brick walls, as you've probably seen in the update videos. What'll that do? That so if we can show you. You've got the. Uh, uh, no, I'll do that later. That design later. So you you're gonna have these boards, right? So clack clack them together. They've got the two foam falling foams, but they won't have the halves. And then in comes our friend design one, which will have the one and a half boards. So. Straight down the four quarters and then two boards. There we go. And then the curves, that will cover the curves because that's 75 centimeters, I believe. I'm probably a numpty in this regard. Bear with me. I'm going to get the freedom units out because, because curves come in 3D units and they're defined by freedom units so a lot of the, bo the boxes on our stock recommend minimum curvature I believe of 24 inches so let's measure this out shall we the other good thing about this tape measure is we have a um, well how to say sorry tape measures come in two, two varieties here so in terms of corners, 75 is 29 inches and so you haven't used freedom units much. Uh, one, two, three, four, so 70, 29 inches, 29 and a half inches roughly, um, or 29 and uh, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> 29 and I won't try and work that out I don't want to offend anyone that's 29 and a half inches so that's above the red recommended minimum and if we wanted to we could start the corners in this module and then make sure we have enough clear way and enough support for the track turning to give that turning radius a much bigger rope, bigger, bigger right of way. If that makes any sense. But yeah, um, these modules aren't really gonna conform to this. There's only, the later planning down the stages, we will have like transition modules. So the definition within these, this, this Fremo module specifications book define a slightly thinner module, as well as the thinner sides, the, the, less heighty sides so we're going to have a transition module either like that go into the right size and then continue with the other companion modules and then we'll need the track to because we're thinking of having this track here right so the track would need to do like a kind of slow s turn and go in the middle 
that makes any sense. So yeah, forget that's the idea with the modules because you've got the standard module, which is here, right? Then you can go into a transition module by the creator of the, um, the big the big set of modules here. So that would solve a lot of <laughs> Excel queries in terms of trying to get these two stuff like this and that married together, if that makes sense. Uh, but there you are. Um, the dream is then, you've probably seen this side and you've probably seen the uh, the originals in terms of having a station on the right side over there right where we have where the deconstruction has taken place first episode what we will probably have now or what i'm planning to have now is on because this yeah station was here this this section right now it's now i'm planning to have it on this section so grand scheme so bear with me here, just uh, visualizing myself. So this would station would probably end up here, finish here, and then it run across these modules. We may still have the coach yards if we're feeling uh, generous to ourselves. We might not. And then what we'll have, we'll just have this full straight section going across the sides. And you can have a, either a really long station, I'd probably just limit it a little bit, and then have like, the big trains like the Cap El Cap and the um, Super Chief and the combination trains, they all have multiple platforms and just have those pull in and out. Um, I'd like to incorporate the uh, turntable as well. I do have I do have some board there which is pre-cut already for the turntable, so I would like to keep that in some regard, maybe have it on the side as well. So like have another on this edge, right? And then you've got either turntable there or turntable there. Uh, it's on the edge, so uh, probably this this side here. And just have a little stick out if we wanted to be really cheeky. A little stick out for protection. And then the tracks come along. You've got some uh, support tracks that went along as well. If that makes sense. And the dream, the the, the long term hopeful dream as well, is we all could be eight, incorporate these to this is just musings here now we're just musing here we are going to incorporate so are you feeling me folks do you see what i'm about to do here it's not very clear i know so like either all of the modules so like this like this like this right but just have the one side now here staging area and here presentation area and here in fact we'll have a presentation area that goes here and you seeing what I'm seeing it's a, um, a layout we can take to shows so you pull this out we may have to um, do it so that's the other way around. So the station is here, the presentation layer is here. In fact, let's just do that and then cross that out. Very rough, sorry. Station is here, right? And then you got the tracks going around into a, uh, people call it staging area. Uh, people here call it the uh, fiddle yard. That's what it will be. Lots of tracks, squiggly lines which don't represent true two tracks all converging together on either side where we can add and remove trains and then going around now these modules are planning to have the station on the side we have a track or two for the main to bypass it and maybe have one track that has a platform of its own for, for commuters and through through trains or just have no platforms no any train to stop here stops here and then reverses out and then continues on the main if that makes sense and then yeah, and then just have the same setup like this. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's the idea. Because, not just because we're going to be moving house and we need to make sure we can move these for fairly easily. We need to, like to be able to, I'd like to be able to be in a position where we can just pick these up. And in the grand scheme of um, dreaming, have another module we can replace with one of these, with these, to have a turning into staging area and have an actual staging area 
module as well to go with it and then run across the country showing off that would be very nice I think that would be a, that would be wonderful that's the idea anyway that's the that's the long-term dream short-term dream is getting these modules up and running so we can have a railroad again because that right now this is in a state of uh, deconstruction as you've probably seen we've already deconstructed a small portion um, we'll start building again adding stuff in to support the uh, design one here and take it from there but that's it for waffling I think you've got the idea you've got the scheme you've got the plans comments likes um, thoughts inputs always always appreciated don't don't get me wrong but yeah that's 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 why I say in a in a nutshell you know you know what I mean so yeah we'll take it one step at a time baby steps and as we go along we'll start I think possibly uh, adding track into each individual module and then because they're modules we can remove them and work on them intimately that was the other idea with the modules is that we can actually work on them but one baby step at a time should I say but yeah um, main thing is the, the, the design one isn't going to fit the loft area here we could probably incorporate design one into a future layout but for now, Design 1 is solely responsible in the um, on the sidewall area because you've got plenty of space on the sidewalls to our heart's content. And 75 centimeters is a beautiful middle, middle ground because as you've probably seen with the measurements of the door, it's the bigger, the bigger measurement and it's not too deep, not too, uh, not too, uh, the height isn't too large, 15 centimeters high is nothing really against the 77 gap. If that makes any sense, but yeah, um, grand plans and schemes. Um, with what's happened today, it's I was having to do a couple more things, but no, I don't, I'm not too fussed about it. I don't feel like doing too much today. I might do something uh, in a day or two, which actually progresses a bit further, but yeah, um plans get scuppered when people get sick so and that's completely fine because we care about them and we'd rather have them in our lives than lose them completely and just wonder what happened with the day you know what I mean there we are not too more basic full details well not all the details enough to just tell you what's going on in the uh, description of this video as always guys, thanks you for watching. Apologies for the, the long mumble, long, long waffle and info dump and my dreams and aspirations of this layout. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> it's always good to vent in the support of the Rare Earth because it keeps me engaged. Especially those inventory videos, those keep me interested and have kept me up here for a long time now. It's been about two weeks, two weeks, three weeks now, where I've kept coming up. I've been going through some of my stock, and I've been pleasantly surprised by a few things. But yeah, always a pleasure, guys. Thank you again for watching. Sorry again for the waffling. This was in the outtakes and supporting media. So you don't really have to watch it. It doesn't mean anything. We're just going to be starting with this, and you might want to see it. You know what I mean? There you go.